Is it fucked or what? Maybe. I'm serious, I'm not going out there if the fucking motor's fucked. Something's wrong with my motor. Is that you, Brad? Oh. Fuck. No wind. Ah, oh, two boats together. What's going on here, Bradley? <laughs> One motor down. We've got two engines today. <laughs> Check it out. I want A nice early start today. We are heading over to Port Vincent for a bit of a sail. It's not going to be much wind, so it might be a bit slow going. I've got plenty of fuel in case we need to motor most of the way, but yeah, here we are. Nice and early. Seven o'clock in the morning. Alright, this is my wife Amy. Hi, Amy. Hello. Benny. So you do know you're going to be on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I've been on YouTube. Yeah. No, I've been on YouTube. On, on TV, yeah, yeah I saw that short. <laughs> We're in the pub having a beer or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you got a uh, radio for me? Sitting in the cockpit over there. Okay. Just grab one that's already on. Um, I'm just gonna set up my sails once we get out there. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Um, I've forgotten how to tie a fucking bow line. Um. So I might just pull my sail out. This isn't looking good. We haven't even looked. Yeah. That's the bow line we'll go through there. Yeah. How long does it take to get to Port Vincent usually, Steve? Uh, if you're not doing um, four to six knots, turn your motor on. You, oh, need, to, you need to be doing about six knots, you'll get over there in about eight, ten hours. 30, what? 30, wow! 31 miles. David told me. Yeah, <laughs> David, Dave on his How boat, fast did he go? Said he gets there in about five or six hours at about five knots. Who? Hey, <laughs> David. Well, if you're not doing six knots, you're not going to get there in that time. We're not going to be doing six knots. There's no way in hell we'll be doing six then knots. Then put your motor in it and put it on idle. You'll As well. Sails up and idle. You want it, You want to be doing six knots. Yeah. Gee, glad we asked that question sure before we, we go, left. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was about six hours, what? Six hours or something? What is it? Five, nine, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Six hours if you're doing five knots. Five, yeah, it's thirty-one nine, nautical 15. miles, and that's from Black Pole to the entrance over there. Yeah, well one knot is one nautical mile. Yeah. So, so yeah. We'll head out there and see if the wind picks up at all. Like you say, maybe we might have to just go down the... Just head south and anchor for the night wherever we get to. Yeah, possibly. We'll keep talking on the radio. Oh, yeah, I can just drop it down and... Alright, we better get our boat ready, tied or untied.
So if you want to start untying the ropes, we're doing it. Towards that crash. You're heading towards the crash. Huh? You're heading towards that fucking thing. Fucked, is it? If it's fucked, then let's just go back. Hang on, yeah. I didn't have the air valve open. Yeah, is it fucked or what? I'm serious, I'm not going out there if the fucking motor's fucked. Darren that we're on our way again. Yeah. How? Yeah. Push the button on the side. What? 
That and this one at the top? Yep, I think. No. Wait, I don't know what one. trouble with the motor the outboard I think I had it too deep in the water and it didn't want to idle or it didn't want to rev hard so I've lifted it up we went back docked I lifted it out the water a little bit and now it seems to have come good so lesson learnt don't have the motor too deep in the water but we're heading out now trying to catch up to Kempi and his dad Benny and uh, the day's looking really nice there's no wind so I don't think we're going to go to Port Vincent now because of, there's just eight knots of wind and we'll never get there so I think we're just going to head down the coast, down to sort of Glenelg or somewhere like that. Still motoring because there's really no wind around. There's a heap of boats out today. It's the yeah. eastern, hey? Which way are you going? It's the Easter long weekend, so every man and his boat's out in the water. And we're trying to catch up to Kempi, who's just gone past Black Pole, and we're not too far behind. about 3.9 to 4 knots it's uh, 28 degrees today is it avionics 4.3 knots I don't know if you can see that what are we doing oh it goes up and down from 4 to 4.3 oh, yeah. it's quite warm out here there's really no breeze so it's gonna be a hot one and as you can see, I've had a wardrobe change because of the <laughs> getting warm out here. There's Black Pole, we're just going past it. Amy's wondering why is it called Black Pole when it's green? Oh, we'll have to look that one up and we'll find out. Comment below if you know. Pirate Life Brewing, Arrgh! Not a sponsor, but could be. Chuck us a slab, part life. Cheers. Oh yeah, it's off. What? Just seeing if the what's it called the hatch roof thing is off. Then it is. Yes, I usually leave it off now because the last time we ripped it off with the ropes, with the lines. Yeah. Mm, you haven't fixed that yet. Nope. Still need to get some hinges. What's on the to-do list? 
never ending to do list. A few yachts out there, I don't know if they've got their motors on or not, but they look like they're sort of half moving along. That'd be pretty exciting. Nice oh, big great white come up to the boat or something. Mm. Yeah, that'd be cool. day for it. Could just anchor and do some bombs off the boats. Nah, I'd like to get past Semaphore because that big great white that's like 5.5 lives here. Oh yeah, fuck that. Top, top notch. Right? Yeah, right. Top notch? No, he's only like two metres smaller than this boat. Oh, <laughs> fucking, yeah, right. Jesus. When he hangs around Semaphore. Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, people post videos, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is it. Oh well. There's no way we would have made it to Vincent. Nah, nah, nah no chance. I'll come over your way slowly. <laughs> if I turn that way, I'll lose all the wind in my sails. I think I'm actually going backwards now. How many knots does it say we're doing? Yeah. Luckily the motor come good. I'm still doing one knot. Oh yeah, one point oh, point nine, one point two, one. Is that that way, yeah. that way or that way? Backwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get water in here. Ah, oh. no, I'm not gonna do it. Too cold. Too cold. Yeah. <laughs> Righto, we've got a little umbrella up now. Bit of shade. It's quite good actually. Yay, we're on the water. It's just nice, even just bobbing around, isn't it? Yeah. Just been out in the water. It's just bloody fantastic. Nice hot day, beautiful. There's Kempi over there. It's better with the umbrella up. Yeah, umbrella adds a bit of shade. Perfect. There's another boat. Say hello. Say hello. GoPro's nearly flat, so I'm going to have to chuck it on charge now we've got solar, I can just charge it up. Hey, lovely out here, it's bloody hot though, sweating like a pig, I need to go for a swim. Oh. There you go, you got lunch prepared? Yep. What's for lunch? Lunch. Oh, beauty. Oh, you got some biscuits. Mmm. Check it out. Got some veg. Mmm. Mm. 
swell beer this time. Swell beer. Not a sponsor, but could be. Chuck us a slab. Early, if you get the fishing right out now. So how are you uh, enjoying your day sailing, Dad? <laughs> um, Do you feel safe? Um, <laughs> it's like watching paint dry. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment. <laughs> We are officially just bobbing around doing fuck all. Getting cool. <laughs> no wind. Bradley caught up to us using his engine and now we've left him for fucking dead and again. Is he gonna hit him? <laughs> but look at the water. Beautiful day. Lucky it's a long weekend. <laughs> still, still dead in the water. Sails flapping. We have. Brad's still losing ground on us hi brad and the old man it's got the best fucking spot on the boat Fuck yeah. where is he he's uh just sitting up here in the shade in the shade <laughs> kicking back on the bean bag I, i'm a cockatoo i'm the lookout <laughs> <laughs> what i should have told him was it's actually just as good <laughs> to sit up here in the shade. <laughs> Cheers! You're comfortable, right? You're sitting on a hard end. <laughs> Bean bag on deck. Bradley's over there. Uh, we didn't attempt to get Port Vincent because as we were leaving the marina, Brad's engine was playing up. So we came out. Brad went back to the dock, got his engine sorted, and so we were hoping to get down somewhere near Glenelg, but obviously... We'll get there tomorrow night. You can see we're going so fast... <laughs> <laughs> ...that uh, we'll be lucky to make fucking semaphore. Which we can see. <laughs> so, cheers. No wind. Ah, oh, two boats together. What's going on here, Bradley? <laughs> I'm down. I've got two engines today. Check it out. This one's seen itself. Bradley's having engine problems. Yeah, he don't give a shit. <laughs> And we'll only be here for about an hour. But I'm gonna do this. I am. I jump in from anywhere really. Drift back to the back. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Here we go. Clap that current's ripping through. <laughs> Holy shit! You'll end up with red. <laughs> yeah! Um, I thought the boat was moving. No, I've got it, but look. <laughs> My legs are straight out the back of me. Yeah. Fuck, that's coming in quick. Yeah. Oh, we're out there coming into an eye park. Yep. Oh, we can put the rest of the empties back in the whiskey. Ah, so we just made it back by this hair of our teeth. Um, yeah, the other engine ended up using Kempi's motor to get back in. Because my stupid bloody motor didn't want to start so we had to cut our Port Vincent trip short and now we're gonna stay in the boat club tonight and have a few drinks and a laugh and all good yo Check it out YouTubers, we're going to crash out in the boat now, sleep on the boat, we haven't slept in the V-berth yet, first time, Amy's pouring the waters ready, that's it, over and out, peace! Just waking up the next morning, I've got the coffees on the go. Got a little gimbal, stove, metho cooker, boiling in the water, Amy's in there, sorting out the sleeping bags, set pretty well, that's rubbish. Metho, this is what we use here for our metho stoves. Um, the boat's a bit of a mess because it's uh, running out of space. Let's have a look outside. Nice day, a little bit of breeze. Oh, that might be right for a... The other guys I heard Mark and, that, Mark and Nova have gone out sailing today. So they might get some breeze. It's Easter, we're going to have some chocolate. Hot cross buns that have been squashed in the bag. Yum. <laughs> they're better when they're squashed. Yeah. Do you want your lid on your coffee? Um, no.